All right, y'all. This your boy. We back, man. Hey, over here. Have a good time, man. Hey, y'all coming to Jacksonville area. Hit us up, man. We can link up, man. Probably hit a park or something, man. Cook something. Mess around. But, uh, yeah, back to this port belly. So check it out, man. What, what you got on there? I thought well, you smoked it. Man, this shit really... I thought you pre-smoked it the way y'all well, handled it. Last night, I did a pre-rub. Like, a few special seasonings. <laughs> like, I ain't telling you. Like, I ain't telling you right now. Mm. But I rubbed all the way in. This is my second coat of um, brown sugar. We don't put brown sugar on because I'm trying when everything caramelized down the fat and the, and the sugar start mixing together. Because everyone know this is not a piece of bacon when we first started off. Remember we just talked earlier? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got to smoke this as I just learned from D. He taught me something today. I give him credit on that. He, you have to smoke this again to make it a, to make it turn into bacon. And you must salt it. So you got to cure it again. Right now there's a big hunk of big piece of meat with skin on the back of it. You know, us been Alabama, we took this, cut this out, smoked up the, the meat part, and made crackling out of it already. And we have, yeah, yeah, yeah. we have crackling already in here all day. Yeah, crackling good, man. Yeah, it is. You know where they were getting that crackling from? That big skin right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, tell them about the, uh, the big salt thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, when I put this on, I'm going to salt the back of this. I'm going to put it face down, which will be happening in a few minutes. Face down, I'm going to salt it. The salt is going to be on the outside. It's going to pull all the moisture out of this meat. And when I pull it out, and you guys hold a video, we had a video going, I made a pick, lift that salt off the back of this in one sheet. Hmm. It'll caramelize the salt, pull all the water out. It'll turn like a brown, almost like a brown sugar, and it'll be like one whole sheet. And I made to get my fingers underneath it and pick it up in one whole sheet and pull it off. Never seen that. How long will it take to do that? It's going to take a few hours, three or four hours. So, you know, smoke looking good. Uh, there's smoke coming down again now. So yeah. You're putting it on there. Y'all doing this cooking with meat. We need a, a midday snack and we need a drink to go with that. Money Mike, what's, what's the drink for today? <laughs> this mix right here. <laughs> what you got going on in? <laughs> well, I can't tell you. Something that, uh, pinnacle, what you got with the pinnacle? Are oh, you drinking Mimosa, pinnacle vodka today? Okay. Mimosa. Yeah, man, some kind of other mix. Okay, okay, we got some. See, everybody, we ain't just talking about meat all day. We have cocktails to go with our meat. Yeah. Oh, so check this out, y'all. While he doing this, man, let me tell y'all what I learned at the butcher shop. So I had, as you see, he got this pork belly right. I had two of them in my freezer. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this stuff sliced into bacon. So what I didn't know, well, anyway, let me let me tell you the story first. So I took it, had it sliced. He charged me like a dollar a pound to slice it up. I had 22 pounds. That's a lot of doggone bacon, so I thought. So as I got all my packages and stuff, the guy asked me, Hey, you played on uh, curing this uh, to make bacon? I was like, hell, I thought it was already bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what you mean? He's like, no, nah, you got to put this salt brine in there and all this, etc." <laughs> now I'm pissed off that right. he ain't tell me that before. I, you know what I'm saying? Got my damn pork belly sliced up. So, needless to say, yeah, yeah, he got my money. Now he, he could have got more money had he did it the right way. But anyway... So needless to say, you know, I started Googling this because I don't really mess with pork belly other than to do my uh my uh burn ends. And uh needless to say, you gotta brine pork belly or cure it as they say to make it that salty taste. So what I did was I came home and I uh took a couple of uh strips since it was already thawed out and put it on the skillet and tasted it, and it tastes like a piece of meat. Kind of like ham, really. Unsalted ham. So I guess for all y'all natural folks, like you know what I'm saying, if you got high blood pressure, you just get your pork belly and go get a slice into bacon and technically you're still eating bacon just without the salt. But all I did was hit it with a uh, you know, a couple uh sprinkles of salt and it tastes just like bacon, man. So uh yeah, lesson learned from that. Uh go through the process of curing it. So at some point I'm probably gonna cure uh, uh actually we're gonna do it with this one. Uh-huh. You already got the uh I ain't gonna tell you the seasoning because that's his little secret. Your little whatever season you can use maple, you can use uh brown sugar, you can use whatever you want on top of it. You know, uh, salt included uh to make you know what I'm saying to make it the flavor bacon you want. You know, uh, you can buy it from the store in different flavors, uh-huh. um, and put it on the grill. Like I said, we're gonna try this and then see see what this little this little salt trick is on the back side on the fat side, right? Because we cooking it fat side yeah, up, yeah, mix side down, so we got the skin mixed up, side down, fat side up, got yeah. it. And uh, at some point, I guess all the salt is going to render from the uh, moisture. Mm-hmm. 
And then uh, you better lift it up like a sheet of paper, I guess. So we're going to see. I ain't never seen that. So we're going to learn something here together, y'all. Mess around with this pork belly. We'll see y'all in a few. What's up, y'all? Hey, show them this old pork belly. Look how it's sweating. Ooh. Ooh, I'm ready to see the salt lift off this thing, man. We're going to go ahead and put it in here. We got a turkey in here. We got a ham in here, man. We just fill it up the grill, y'all. It look eatable right there. Yeah, yeah, hey, remember good. now it's going face down. Mm -hmm. I need to pull it out. Yeah. All right, hold on. I got it. You got it? Mm -hmm. uh, you know my fingers messed up, y'all, in the world. This yeah. is better. This is better 2000. There you go. Nah, I don't ever need to get out of there. Hold on, hold on. I got it. We can push it back in. Yeah, look at that. Now, now I've got a salt in that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, put the salt on there. What you salt. need, the sea salt? I got it. My pocket. All right. All right, now watch this trick, y'all. You finna put this salt on now. Ooh, I'm loving this 4K, y'all. Shout out to my boy, man. Don't remember your name right now, and obviously I ain't on YouTube to pull it out, but shout out for letting me know about the uh, front-facing camera versus the back. Uh, hold on, let me get him to see, see this while I'm doing that. The front versus the back, man, uh, uh, the camera. I was just shooting at 7K, which was like 1080p or something, 1080i, whatever, but yeah. Flip it on the back side where it's actually using the uh the, the, the camera for what it's meant to. I see it pop up with the 4K at 60 frames a second, whatever that means. But uh whatever. That's a big old pork Appreciate around. that brother. You see this salt he's dumping on now. Wait, so all this salt just gonna mold together and then come uh -huh. up like a sheet of paper, huh? Yep, that's that's it. I might need some more salt. Hey, I, don't I, I don't think nobody ever did. I could could have been on YouTube because I ain't seen nobody do it yet. Who told you this trick? Man, messing around on the internet, reading. Oh. You no know, read. I can't read sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I think I need a little bit more salt. This is a big, this is a big pork belly. You got more salt? Yeah, you I got some salt. Oh, congrats, salt. Please, well, sir. anyway, I mean, y'all know the picture. We just gonna put salt on now. So yeah, stay tuned, man, and we're gonna come back. We're time to look at this thing, and then uh, we'll go from there, y'all. Stay tuned. Hey, not over the top. Hey, y'all, what's up, man? Let me show y'all this pork belly over here, man. You know what I'm talking about? That salt, how that salt. You know it's done when you can lift the whole sheet up. Look at that, it broke up on him, but look at that. They lifting, see? They lifting. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Salt just coming up. That's when you know it's done, y'all. When this salt come up off of it. Yeah, I'm gonna take the whole piece out like that. Take the whole piece out. Look at that. Yeah, it's getting out. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna let it keep going because we want to cure a little bit. Yeah, yeah I'm getting hungry. It's better than food. I can't wait for these uh, fingers over here to come off. Um, yeah, we'll be back, y'all. Stay tuned, man. We show y'all what these final products looking like. All right? Yeah. Yo, yo. All right, we about to uh, pull this pork belly off. I'm interested to see what this thing look like. Oh, yeah, let me show y'all this little salt. This salt uh, thing we got going on here. Look at the little ashes. I need that little truck just pulled off. Just got my wireless charger for the iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah. Oh, let me grab that dough for you. Yeah, pull it out, probably. You wanna just take it off first and just? Oh. Yeah, that's all off. What you gonna throw? Hey, give me that bag right there, Mike. That trash bag. Throw this salt in. Y'all check this salt out. You sit over here. Look at that salt. Chop. Look at that just coming off. Oh, yeah. And I just take the moisture out of the meat, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty neat right now. And keep in mind, y'all, this just on the skin, too, so ain't like you're eating a, uh, a mouthful of salt either. Remember we did a uh, fat side up or meat side down, whichever way you call it. Yeah. There we go. So what you do with the rest of the salt? You just wipe it off? Uh-huh. Okay. It won't stick anyway. You can save it. Wait, it's like, yeah, yeah. Okay. It probably gonna come out when you flip it over. Yeah, we're gonna see what that bottom look like. Oh, uh, yeah, I want fun side. Yeah. Well, the meat's at the other side of the mountain. 
Yeah, I like that crackling. Yeah, is it? Yeah, you gotta leave that in there for a while. Pump that, pump that heat up. So you wanna flip it over there and fix me? Hold on, follow, follow the part right here. Looking like brisket. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put it back in there to get that bottom side a little hot. Oh, tighten it up. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, it does look better. Yeah, it does look better than brisket right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that, y'all? Yeah, Ladies and gents, we back. I want y'all to see this dog on fire. Got that like a brisket? Almost. But it's poor, y'all. Look, look at that bubbling. Look at that bubble oh, up on Look at that living. Look at that post in it. Look at that juice sitting in that thing. Yeah. We're over here curing bacon, y'all. <laughs> the southern way. Not the Florida way, the southern way. So yeah, we're gonna take this, put it in that pan. Hey, what you gonna do with it? Slice them up in front of everybody. There you go, we're gonna slice them up in front of y'all. You know, rest for a minute? Let, well, yeah, we gotta let it rest, obviously. About 15 minutes and then I'll uh, slice him up. I'll slice her up. Uh -huh. And then we'll let y'all go. All right. right side. Oh, we got the coat and clothes now. Yeah. Is it going to stay together? Hell no. Ooh. Barely. Barely. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll be back, man. We'll try to slice this thing up. We're going to let it cool down. We'll be back. What's up, y'all, man? It's your boy, Mr. B. Drink this water. And uh, Smitty over sipping on the water. I guess you got to be hydrated when you mess around with this dog on fire and stuff. We are uh, down to the end, man. Down to the end. The dog on Cowboys playing the Falcons. Uh, all my partners up at the Falcons game, man. You know, I'm um, rooted in Atlanta. Uh, couldn't make it for this one just because I'm going to the SEC Championship. Forget them. You know what I mean? This one game. I can't go. Fuck. Smitty can't go. I can't go. <laughs> Just found out he, he gonna be working during the SEC championship. So it is what it is. We still gonna uh, enjoy full. Right, we're gonna send him hate video just to piss him off with the grill going and stuff like that. Yep, I'll take that. That's all good. Uh, but anyway, man, he about to slice this dog on pork belly. Look like a brisket, don't it? That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, she's still hot. Pork belly. Mm -hmm. We'll see how you slice this thing, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting nervous. See, myself. this is how you win, man. Like, like they tell you, they like typically what they do is you stick these in the refrigerator, and once you stick them in the refrigerator, you let them uh, get cold. Uh huh. You're right. So they freeze up, and then uh, well, yeah. not freeze up, but cool the meat down. tightens up, tightens up, and then you can slice it. We are going to the fridge, people. Paws on the plate. It's too tender, as you can see. Look at that. Yeah. Taste it, man. See, yeah, yeah. Mm. Man, I'm trying to think what that, that flavor is. You know what it is? We smoked it earlier and called it out. Hey. Anyway, I ain't gonna hold y'all much longer, man. This your boy, Mr. B. Hey, uh, sorry we can't uh, slice this up, but it's too soft right now. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator and then let it uh cool down and it'll tighten up and then uh, uh we'll go from there. So like I said, that's generally how you do it. I take it to the butcher shop and have a slice mine up. Oh snap, my 49ers beating the giant. What? Yeah. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and holla at your boy, y'all.